And BetterHelp has been with us for a while. And you can get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash Karen Hunter. That's better H-E-L-P dot com slash Karen Hunter. All right. We are officially into Wellness Wednesday. And it was about a month, or, month ago we had a caller call in to give a testimonial about uh, weight that she's lost and how her life has been changed by this man. So I said, let's invite him on. Let's bring him in. He is a doctor of naturopathy. Let me welcome Dr. Paul Hopkins to the Karen Hunter Show. Hi. Hi. How are you? It awesome. is a it is a pleasure to be here, Karen. Thank you so much for inviting me to your platform. Uh, you're doing great stuff, and it really touches the community. Uh, thank you so much. Well, listen, it is my pleasure, my mission. I, you know, sometimes I get a little like you don't have to thank me to do something that I enjoy doing this is like my purpose here and i'm just happy that people are receiving it uh so sister kimberly called up she lost 130 pounds which is a lot and we were just talking about how obesity has been staved off in the united states you know we were the most Mm -hmm. obese nation uh, Mm -hmm. one of the most obese nations in the world but uh thanks to the weight loss drugs and a decades long uh Mm -hmm. the decades long rise in obesity has been has been reversed and uh, this is according to uh, several studies. I think the NIH, one of them as well, obesity rates have mm. uh, waned dramatically. I'm happy about that because we know that the fat holds toxins and it's also yes. the thing that all yes. kinds of cancers and, and diabetes, everything, it, it feeds on the fat, sugars, mm-hmm. and all of the stuff that's in our body. Mm-hmm. So you've been doing this before there was a Wagovi and, a, and an Ozempic. Yeah, you, you got that right. That's right. We did it naturally. And, you know, when you lose that much weight, the question is, are you still healthy? Because you can lose weight and still be sick, you know, and that's what the problem happens with so many people. They think they're well, they they lose the weight. But really, are you healthy is the key. And we know that nowadays the food is the biggest problem. It's the food and the industrialization of the food that becomes a problem because we are all getting blocked in the gut. It's the gut that's out of order when it comes down to it. You know, what's crazy. Um, food's not food anymore. Like even, you know, as you a kid, it. we would go to the candy store or some of y'all mm-hmm. had candy lady in the middle of the woods. I didn't know about that until Roderick Morrow <laughs> showed us. But the candy was different. It tasted everything was different. That's now right. they're allowed to put all of these chemicals and these dyes and stuff that they can't yeah. even send overseas. The cereal that they get you in other it. countries that we're That's right. feeding to our babies with all of the dyes, the yellow, the reds and the blues. They yeah. can't do it overseas because they have regulations. We don't. That is correct. The hormones that, correct. that are going into, I, I just saw a video of grass-fed beef, but they're all mm-hmm. huddled in these pens, and they come with a truck, and they basically throw grass at them. They're not around yeah. grazing. They're they're yeah. sedentary or mashed together, eating this stuff, and then mm-hmm. the hormones to speed up the, the, the growth yeah. rate and the breasts on the chicken, they don't even, when they say free range, no, yep. it's not. It's it just like means what, you get a chance to run around. That's all. And somebody <laughs> asked this question on on Twitter, like the the wing st- shop does like a million wings a month, but what about the other parts? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> where about get these? Where do you get the wing? <laughs> where's, yeah, where's the rest of the Don't chicken? mess with nothing. Don't have bones. Oh my so, goodness. So, so yes, yeah, you're spot on. You're walk spot us on. through how you get people um, healthy and reducing the fat. Well, it starts with, again, like you're talking about, the food. The food in America, see, in America, we don't have any labeling laws. And the labeling law says that you have to tell somebody what's in the food. So if you go to Europe, all over the world, they have mandatory labeling. But in the United States, it's very casual or non-existence or self-imposed. So we don't have that same thing with the GMOs and the processed foods. We have now what's called ultra-processed foods. That means you take the process and you go to ultra-process. Well, these things actually have a problem when it gets into the gut because the gut is only looking for nutrients. We have these villi or villa. Their job is to take the nutrients out of food and bring it into you. But now we have this sort of blanket going on that covers this. So now we are not assimilating our nutrients. There's nothing there to begin with. Now it's really bad. So we say life begets life. Life only gives life. So if it's dead already, why are we eating stuff that can't give us life? So that's where we are. So what happens is we start with getting the gut in order by the water. That's the number one thing. You got to get your water right first. There's a lot of water out here and a lot of people are saying waters are good, but there's what the body says. I'm just looking for energy. I got one game and my game is water. 
as energy and the energy in the water. There you go. You right on cue. <laughs> my water, so what my kind? Water. So what kind of water do you drink is the key. So remember, H two O is hydrogen. Hydrogen is the greatest source of energy in the universe. So wherever this hydrogen, this presence of energy. And that's why we need that, because our white and red blood cells break that down. And that's what we use to bring you light. We make it alkaline. Right. But if you have water that's already been destroyed, which is a.k.a. processed, then it's destroyed. That can't do you no good. So you got to stay away from four waters that I say stay away from. And that's no purified. No filtered. No reverse osmosis and no distilled. Because those waters, when they pull the hydrogen, they pull the charge. So those waters are already dead. So now that you drink that water, it's going to spill you. So is it, yeah, they're wet. Make me pee. Yeah. What's, <laughs> so, how's, what? so, it, what it, so what it does is spins you into a state of acidosis. Mm. Then when you're in a state of acidosis, now your body's tearing down on that cellular level 10 to 20 times faster. So now your body goes into a crisis and it says, well, hey, Karen, you're supposed to give me this this water or this energy in this water or the food. Anything that doesn't have hydrogen, I need to get that. So I have to go to my next source. My next source can only be the calcium out of your bones. So that's when it goes after oh. the hip, the knees, the joints. Hip, you know, no no place more than the United States that we have more hip replacements and knee replacements and shoulder replacements. All of these are things because the body's attempting to heal you to correct the problem. Your pH is off. So we're all in a state of acidosis. That's where it starts. So spring water is good, just not all right. these newfangled waters. So you what about it. alkaline water? Well, alkaline water falls under that reverse osmosis. Mm. So that means that the reverse osmosis, they basically are distilling it, but then they're taking it and then they're adding electrolytes. They'll call electrolytes, but the electrolytes really is cheap white salt. So what does that do? That just loses its charge. So as soon as you open a bottle, it loses its charge. So the water we want is spring water, but it must say bottled at the source. That's the key. If it's bottled at the source, deep in the earth, untouched by air. So when you tap it, you tap it in the earth. But how would That's we know? That, see, because this is the other thing. Um, I just actually, the water, my New Jersey water has been hacked. Um, oh, yeah. American, I was like, I said, well, how? what do we do? The water company was hacked. And mm. I don't know what that means, but yeah, now, don't drink no tap water. Can I can I trust <laughs> the water? Tap water. Like, that's what I'm saying. When I was growing up, you could drink out of the hose <laughs> and out of your yeah. sink in your yeah, house. The water plug. Now, <laughs> now you cannot, right? Right. You can't so drink out of the water plug no more. Oh my goodness! They're putting what's called chloramines in the water, so we have to test the water. So we do some things. You can get what's called hydrogen drops. That's what these oh. things right here. Okay. They're called hydrogen drops. You can test to see. The hydrogen in the water, that's only energy, though. It's not to see the cleanliness of the water. But it can actually be used to find out what the best waters are. So spring water bottle at the source, we call it God's water because it's deep in the earth, untouched by air. So when you tap it, they tap it in the earth. When you open the bottle, that's the first time it touches air. So that water raises your alkalinity, keeps you on a state. So now that's the perfect condition for it by fighting bacteria, virus, fungus, septus, parasites all kind of things so you got to raise that water all right do you recommend because I, I know several people live out in the sticks or whatever well water because i understand also that the rain is compromised because the mm -hmm. environment I said, <laughs> yeah. what if this is the, we're you not can't you gotta cover this way and that way oh, yeah oh well goodness. water well water is usually very acidic that's why they usually have to have some kind of system where they add salts to it but the salts that they're adding to it is actually a refined salt. So I would use something like an unrefined salt. That's what we would use, which would be like a salt because who's the greatest refiners? We are the refiners. So don't mess with no refined sugar, no refined salt, no refined oils. That's what we stay away from. So these, your body can adjust and balance it out. So we would add the salts to the water. I was going to say um, a little bit of that, uh, him, not Himalayan, but the... The, yeah, pink Himalayan is actually good. Okay. Pink Himalayan. Little, little, little piece of yeah. that. Little, yeah. Okay. Did you know that if you take a pinch of Himalayan salt and add it to your water, you just created an energy drink that fast? Look at that. And yeah. you know what? You know, I learned that. So I watched this uh, show called Naked and Afraid. 
and they were mm-hmm. out, um, you know, because they, they put people someplace, and this was a, a challenge, but they, they gave them as a as a treat a block of salt. <laughs> like yeah. Because they, they had to, you know, be out there, and they were just Bless you. At, yes, Bless you. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. In a few minutes that we have, and we're going to have to, okay. you know, I'm sorry that I cut into your time, but, you know, we had Sister That's Soldier right. on. No uh, problem. Dr. Paul. Shout you know, out to Sister Soldier. Was, Absolutely. Shout out. Important. Um, yes. Give give us a you you do a program that Sister Kimberly was a part of. You can quickly yes. tell us what this is. Yes, it's called the Family Tree, and the Family Tree is basically a concept that I I came up with based on uh, evidence based research that I've done here in Philadelphia in the Germantown section of Philadelphia. We pretty much have been doing a men's program called Fulani, which is an African American men's health program. So with that. Uh, we branched out to a woman's program called Natural Woman. And these are holistic classes that we basically take chronic disease and we pre and post evaluate it. And guess what? They started to get well. So with that, we monitor them. And then when COVID hit, sort of everybody sort of went their ways. So we brought it together into one uh, location, which is on the family tree. Uh, I am on WURD radio in Philadelphia, so I have two radio shows that are on Saturday morning and also Sunday. So it's a combination of all those three elements that we come together. Concept of the family tree is that we take the answer. Yeah, we bring the, the the people through and we just talk about holistic health. That's it. All right. Where can people get 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 down with the family tree? Where can they, they go? They can get down with the family tree. Just go to my website, triple w dot doctor paul herbs with an s dot com. They can subscribe to the website if they want to something because it is tonight. It's every Wednesday at seven PM. And you can text me two one five seven seven nine seven three five five. I'll give you the information. You can join us tonight. And we got testimonies, testimonies of people from all around the world, and they're doing stuff. And we go to my website. There's a Mastering Healthy Lifestyle, which talks about the things like the water and salt and all those things. So if you want more information, go there. All, all right. right. That's Dr. Paul P A U L Herbs or Herbs H E R B S dot com. Thank you, you so much it. for coming through. Thank you, Karen. Appreciate I appreciate you. you. Appreciate you too. I appreciate you, Smith. I appreciate you, Alexa, Mina, Travella, Jonah, ladies. Thank you, Truth the Universe, the video team, and family. I not only appreciate you, but I love you. That's an action word. I'll see everyone tomorrow. God bless. Oh.